Hi, everybody. You guys gonna do it or what? Want me to sit here and talk the whole fucking time? Yeah, I do. I mean, go to a dungeon in a castle. Basically, yeah. You know what? I I was just reading something a little while ago on the most excruciating ways to die. Crucifixion is up there at number one. That would suck. I because would think a lot so. of people think, like, you know, the big guy, whatever, it goes through the palm. No, it goes right through the fucking wrist. Yeah. You do that, your hands are just like going, ah, it's like lightning coming out of your fucking fingertips. How often was that a thing? A lot, man. Really? It was oh, a yeah. big thing, yeah. Excruciating came from the word crucifixion. Excruciate, crucif. Because it's so fucking excruciatingly pain. It's fucking I think horrible. I'm getting burnt with a blowtorch. Burnt alive is number one. No, nope, that's yes, number is. four. No, 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 There's no, no way. No. Even the fucking when they in prison, they inject you with that shit to kill you. That's a fucking painful ordeal. No, it's not. You're yes, reading the wrong is, man. fucking thing. No. They did studies on it, man. They're saying it could take up to 14 fucking minutes for you to go down when they. They inject you with that shit. So now they're only doing the one injection, not the three. They're just saying, fuck it. We're just going to go right for it. Huh. Because then when you're all fucking sleepy and shit and they put the real shit in you, you're like half asleep going, holy fuck. This is painful. But you can't even. You can't react much because you're so fucking tired. Fucked. But you inside. <laughs> Makes you inside. tired, does it? Well, yeah, it does. Holy it, it, fuck, am I ever exhausted? <laughs> So oh, I feel sleepy. like I can die. I'm so sleepy. tired. And you're tired and you're fucked and... Too tired to die. Yeah. Too tired to die. Drowning, you don't want to do that either. No, drowning would be horrific. They you know, always, always used to say that was the best one, but now they're saying no. No. It's fucked. Being electrocuted, same thing. That just fucking fries the inside of you. Burned alive is the worst. I think getting burned where you don't die right away. And then you die like a few days later, that would fucking suck. Yeah. All right, Lisa, okay. I'm just saying, I've got to... Crucified. Got to... Bad, is it? It's yeah. bad. I wouldn't want to get... Yeah, I wouldn't want that to happen. What do you have to do to avoid that? Well, they really don't do it anymore, I don't think, unless you're in a bad fucking real bad neighborhood. <clears throat> but it's just it's just bad, man, because you're just hanging there. You're, you're constantly in pain because of the fucking shit. They just spikes they rack, you know. Nailed it. Well, you're hanging, right? You're hanging, you're hanging. But you're on a little, like a little pedestal. Oh, are you? Until they fucking <laughs> whack the spikes into your shins. Then you they don't need that pedestal. That's not going to do much for you, man. So where are you fucking nailed down below? <clears throat> right above the foot, man. Right through the ankles, I think. Oh. Right through the old Achilles man. tendon. Suck. Yeah, that wouldn't feel good at all. No, I mean, none of it's a good time, boys. Why, why are we talking about this shit? Who you brought, brought it up. Thing? Well, you guys did something. There. You started yeah, talking about to, crucifying people. We're going to London, England, more, and they still have the guillotine, don't they? They have all that stuff. Yeah. You're going to have to be careful over there. Well, I don't think the police are going to do anything to you. It's just, I don't know, some crazy fuckers, though, that might throw you At least the police don't carry guns. Big fan of that. They don't? The real police do. Oh, do they now? They never used to. Mm. They used to brag about it. They have the billy clubs, man. They have to beat the fuck out of people. They're, they're good scrappers over there. Those cops police have... officers, they're fucked. They can scrap. British cops have guns, don't they? Don't think so, man. They get close. Well, that's a terrible idea. Well, it's keeping guns off the street, I guess. No, it's, it's not. Tolerance, no? I don't fucking know, man. You're going to be more apt to have a gun if you know a cop doesn't. Maybe we should find a gun when we get there. Or two. Remember how we were talking about becoming tuna fishermen? Yeah. No. Lots of money. Were we? Yeah, Tons of money. We were pretty banged up. Yeah, but it's out of control now. Like, what's ten or six? How many fucking dollars in a pound? What do you mean? Like a British pound. How many Canadian dollars? Two something. Two twenty. Fuck off. Boy. Yeah. I don't know that much. Suck, I got, I'll tell you Something exactly. like that. Okay, one Canadian dollar. One. One. Two. A pound. Okay, what do you got? It's going to take me a second. Where's all my fucking options here? Jesus oh Christ. Jesus. You're just painfully slow. This fucking 
Japanese chef paid 600,000 pounds. How much is got one it. Canadian dollar in British pounds? Got it. Here we go. One US dollar. How much is one Canadian dollar in British pounds? 0.78 pounds. 0.58 pounds sterling. That's for Canadian. Right. So what you want to know is... Fuck. Fuck. No, that's fuck. How many... Canadian dollars is one British pound. Dollar seventy one. Holy fuck! It used to be up over two. So times six hundred thousand by one point seven one, just for shits and giggles. You doing this? It's too, way too much fucking thinking going what on. What is six hundred thousand times one point seven one? One million twenty six thousand. So if you caught one fish in the next 10 years, it's $1 million. What if you catch a fish a year? It's a million dollars a year. What if you catch one a month? It's $1,145 per pound. What? And that's in pounds. And what, so is this for a tuna? what is this? Is this for one fucking tuna? Over a million dollars. There's lots of fucking tunas off the coast of Nova Scotia, man. Let's go tuna fishing. That's fucking crazy. There can't to... be a $1,400 bucks a pound. Like that's there's some wrong there. Fourteen hundred pounds per pound. Must be something, some special tuna. It must have been something wrong there. Something because like if you go for sushi, yeah. you know you're, you're not paying pound fourteen hundred pounds a pound. No, but this was like a special fish. What kind Magic. Of, well, we got a special know high-end here. sushi restaurant for special customers, so they must pay a lot of money. It was a magic fish. Must have been like Jack and the Beanstalk. Can you imagine if they're like catching these fish off the of, off our coast? Boys, we got to get out there. I mean, if you could, yeah, if certain fish, if you took a bite of it, you could fly for half an hour or something, maybe. What? <laughs> you could what? You could fly. If you fly in powers for half an hour, it might be worth the money. Well, that's different. I'm not spending 1,143 pounds per pound for a fucking fish. What are you talking about? You eat, you eat the fish, you get flying powers? What the fuck are you talking You're about? You're saying that would make it worth it if you took oh. a bite and you could fly for a half hour. Did you guys hear about Cecil the Labradoodle? No, man. Pennsylvania? Eat four grand in cash off his fucking owner's counter. Oh, my God. I would want to know that dog. I don't know. Fucking nightmare. I love Not dogs. Dogs fault. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> how can you get over that? Why, why the fuck would he decide to eat bundles of cash, fifties and hundreds? Somebody might have been touching it with peanut butter on their fingers. Ah, that's a good theory. They say that there's cocaine on every fucking bill in the United States. Maybe it used to that's something. Much more. Really? Um, do dogs like cocaine? I know bears. Here's the really. Here's the really shitty part. They didn't want to just give up the four grand. So they gathered the parts of the bills from his vomit and his shite. Washed them in a laundry tub. All right, I got to think about what <laughs> I do with that or had not. Had to reassemble them. Four grand's a lot of money. They actually got 3500 back from the bank. The bank says, as long as the serial number's intact. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. What a fucking process that would be. Well, though. good for them, man. They, I, I mean... A lot of people just say, fuck that, like it's gone. Said, would it be worth it? Would it be worth it? You would be out there just combing through shit no. with a fucking... Jacob and Corey would be out there combing through fucking shit, putting little dollar puzzles together. That's insane, man. It's a fucking... I can't imagine me at the laundry tub scrubbing shit off parts of bills and then taping them back together. Actually, yeah, I can. Yeah, you, yes, you, you can. Ricky, you Four would grand's that. a lot of fucking money, man. Poor Cecil. At least it didn't fucking kill him. Fuck Cecil, man. What an expensive That's fucking meal. Listen to this. Whale. No, keep guessing. It's a lyre, uh, lyre bird. No. It's a cat. No. There's cats that can mimic birds. I don't know if you know. No. That. Give up? Yeah. Hot chick. Whistling through her nose. Well, I heard about this. What a she fucking talent. She is from Canada. Guinness Book she is in the Guinness Book of She's whistling through her nose whistling. right now. Can you imagine if that was your girlfriend? Yeah. I'd tell her to go get help. You'd be like, 
I don't know, man. Why would you want a girlfriend that could whistle to her nose? Whistle something like a romantic tune or something. Here's your thing. She just had a child. Yeah. A child can also know the whistle. So she hopes the child can beat her world record. 44.1 decibels, that whistle. I didn't know she could control the whistle. I thought she could just whistle. Whistling out tunes, man. All right, I'm more impressed than I was whatever. Why would you want a girlfriend that could whistle out tunes out of her nose? I think it would be cool if, you know, you do a little lovemaking and all of a sudden she's got this little romantic tune coming out of her nose. Lovemaking. Especially the little sex whistle for I think it would be cool. I would love to be able to whistle. You mean if she's got her mouth full? Well... I'm, I mean, there's oh, I never the thought possibilities of that. She can still whistle while she works. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> like Walt Disney. <laughs>